Hey guys, Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. Today I'm showing you this gem. It's a 1990 uh, Fleetwood Flare. Uh, it's sitting on the, the Ford chassis with a Ford 7.5 liter or Ford 460, whatever you're more familiar with, same thing. Um, not great on gas mileage, probably five, six miles per gallon. Great on reliability, um, great on power. They're good motors. Um, end up saving money by not having to work on the motor. And uh, you know, fuel economy is not really something you typically look for in RVs anyway, but, but a great reliable motor in here. Plenty of power for this 26 foot Class A, something you don't see a lot of any longer. Um, but a really nice setup, very clean unit, something I'm very happy to have here on the lot. Um, maybe something if, you, if you're on a budget or you just don't want to spend a ton, you can get all the amenities of spending four or five times this amount and, um, and be comfortable on the road and a reliable rig. So let's walk around it real quick and then I'll show you the inside. Um, just motor access here and you have more from the inside um, underneath your doghouse there. Good windows all the way around. Shows some wear and tear, but no delamination at all on the sides, if you can see how straight that is. Um, no signs of leaking on the inside ever in its life. Um, the, when I say signs of wear, it's really just age, you know, a little bit of oxidation there on, on some of these panels, but something very minor. It's a cosmetic thing that could easily just be sprayed and look like new. Um, here we have our water heater exhaust. It's a propane water heater, six gallon. Pardon me, I got that backwards. This is our water heater, I believe. That's our that's our furnace, that's our water heater. Let me trust myself a little bit more. Doesn't really matter, furnace, water heater's right there. Um, gosh, I'm all over the place. This is your fridge, this is your water heater, this is your furnace. There we go, got it. Um, sewage hose storage there, uh, fuel neck, and a 30 amp plug here for the one ace unit on the roof and whatever else you're trying to power. It is a 15,000 uh, BTU AC unit, so plenty to keep this little rig nice and cold on the hot days. Uh, moving around to the back, it is set up to tow, uh, rated for 4,000 pounds at the back. So if you're towing something, uh, you're already set up to go, nice and easy. A little bit more storage here, and you do have a walk-on roof, so use that for anything you want, whether it's just for maintenance or you need to get a better view of something, you can use that roof as uh, more square footage. That's just our fresh water fill. And plus side with having one of these corner beds like this one has, is you get this big bay of storage you can poke in there and see it goes nice and deep in there and keep the majority of your stuff in there uh, without much issue a couple of outlets on the outside um, if you were to power anything out here use your patio space properly you have a uh, you have outlets for music or tv or lights whatever you want to put in there but let me show you the inside of this non-slide 26 footer it's uh, incredibly clean for the age Again, it's a 1990, a great little floor plan in here. Come on in. Um, obviously, in the front, you have the bunk there. You're not going to be driving with that down. I guess you can if you really want to. I wouldn't. Um, but this guy just tucks away like so when you're not using it, and you get this nice big viewing space from up here. Um, 180 degrees at least of viewing space. Very simple. Um, uh, you have an auxiliary start here to tie your house and chassis batteries together. Um, but a real simple cluster here, your, your transmission's right here, um, parking brake's over on the side here, that's a little different. Let me keep that engaged just in case someone comes pushing on it. Um, both of these seats do swivel, so you can use them as extra seating when you're in here. You have the nice long couch here, that's a six foot plus length and couch, and that is a scissor bed that'll pull right out. Um, does have seat belts underneath it, as well as the small little spinning chair there has seat belts underneath it. Um, your dinette also makes into um, a bed as well and has seat belts underneath it. So you can sleep, what, two, four, six, eight in this 26 footer. So something that a lot of people look for, um, you can do it in, in a small one, which you can't do in a lot of the big ones. So good storage there. Um, storage on the far side there. We have the two-way fridge here. This is gas and electric. Uh, about five cubic foot, maybe six cubic foot by Dometic. Nice little fridge. Good size counter space. Again, everything's relative. You're 26 feet in here. So you can't have everything, but it's a good size counter. Four burner stone by Mag four burner stove by Magic Chef. Double din stainless steel sink and some storage down below. And uh, a 12. Oh, 17 inch uh, propane oven, uh, as well as a nice little microwave up top. Of course, you have a hood fan and all that jazz up there, a nice little light for when you're cooking. Um, it is a corner bed, 
plus side with corner beds, you get some more space with the rest of the house. Um, I guess downside being if you have one person that gets up a lot or both of you get up a lot, it can be a hassle climbing over each other. But for the most part, it's, it's normally just one person in the couple that uh, that's getting up and that person sleeps on this side. Um, a good size bathroom for a rig this size. I'll come in here and show you. Um, plenty of room in the shower. Again, no trade-offs there. It's a very functional size bathroom um no not bumping your knees when you sit down at the commode there um, and you do have the, the ceiling fan up top so you can keep that air moving in here great lighting around the back love having windows by the bed makes it so you have fresh air while you're sleeping sleep a little bit better and then more storage up top and last thing to show you it's going to be this closet as we spin around um, good size closet. Oop, that needs to be adjusted. Um, with some outlets in there. That would be your plugs. There's another cabinet door there on the right hand side. If you can see that, if you wanted to put a TV in there, you have the outlets for it right there. So great little rig. Um, I'm gonna end the video there. Keep it nice and sweet and short. Um, again, it's a 1990 Fleetwood Flare, 26 footer, low miles on it. Let me get you a readout. It's a uh, 34,000 miles, still ready for you to come break it in. Um, super functional rig, get out there, have some fun. You don't need to go spend $100,000 to to be in a unit like this. You can you can budget yourself and save that money for, for having the good time. So um, super functional, super reliable rig. Um, if you have any questions, any specifics, just give me a shout. Again, I'm Robbie at RV Sales Oregon. Uh, thank you all for checking out the video and uh, have a great day.